My name is Stephanie Crété. I'm the director of the Warren Lash Conservation Center at Clemson University. The Warren Lash Conservation Center for the last 20 years has been a unique uh, facility dedicated to advance the knowledge and the best practice of conservation science, conservation archaeology and historic preservation. My name is Joanna Rivera and I'm the Senior Conservator for the Warren Lash Conservation Center. We also do a lot of scientific research for study of materials as well as conservation of cultural heritage. And we have a lot of projects and collaborations with other institutions across the state. And that has to do with conservation of objects, documentation of sites, as well as scientific research. I'm Michael Scafuri. I'm the lead archaeologist of the Warren Last Conservation Center. What I focus on is studying, investigating, and, and understanding the context of the cultural heritage or archaeological material that comes through our lab. The research involves collaboration with the conservation team at the Warren Last Conservation Center, uh, where as they conserve and preserve artifacts, we study them and put them in context. We started first working with the Agent Hanley submarine as a Civil War submarine that sank off of Charleston in 1864. It was raised in the year 2000, it was brought here, and we have been doing the excavation, conservation and analysis of the submarine as well as the crew members that are already buried. The Warren Lash Conservation Center is internationally recognized for developing cutting-edge technology. Specifically with the corrosion of metal, we have developed a patented technology to desalinate metals such as iron or copper alloys using subcritical techniques. We also successfully developed a technique to dry organic material that has been waterlogged from spending years in a maritime environment. This technique is called supercritical carbon dioxide drying. We have been successful in drying organic materials that otherwise with, uh, will not keep their structural integrity by drying in air or with freeze drying. It's a very neat and unique project, not only because it involves the conservation of a submarine, but also because it's considered a time capsule. Archaeological investigation is very much like crime scene investigation, where we approach a site, or in the case of H.L. Hunley, a, a, an entire vessel, and uh, examine everything, and most importantly, examine the location of all the artifacts and all the components as we find them. And then from that information, we try and reconstruct what happened. Step number one is, is documentation. Lots of photography, illustration, and 3D documentation, whether that's laser documentation, laser scanning, photogrammetry, structured lights. We use a variety of tools. Once we have successfully documented artifacts, then we, we have a better picture of them and we can manipulate those in a virtual or 3D environment and rebuild a site, rebuild a vessel, and then be able to pick it up and turn it around and manipulate it in, in a variety of ways. So it's an essential tool for our investigation. All of this gets integrated with the historical context. And so a big part of archaeology is research, research into archives, um, databases, that kind of thing. Uh, because we're trying to um, understand what we have in front of us, what site or artifact we have in front of us, based on its, its context and history. And so that means reaching out and understanding everything else that's going on around it from its point in time. The Warren Lash Conservation Center is the synergy of chemistry, historic preservation, archaeology, and material science. We are able to do more than a regular conservation lab will be able to. And we have collaborated from a small museum in a county on the way to National Park Service as well as internationally. We are a team of conservation scientists, conservators and archaeologists that work together towards challenge problems and solving those challenges. It's great to be a part of Clemson University and the Warren Lash Conservation Center is, a, is an amazing place to work. 
because of what the university uh, and the center itself have developed in terms of facilities, infrastructure, analytical equipment, and just overall capabilities to handle large artifacts, specifically marine artifacts. And so I cannot imagine too many artifacts or too many archaeological sites where we could not handle the conservation and preservation of that material. And so in a sense, the sky's the limit on what we can take in and what we can work with at the Warren Lash Conservation Center.